In today's video, we're taking a look at how to install or replace a shower, bathtub, diverter, push button, easy and simple. This is so easy, anyone could do. Everything that we use on the video, we're gonna leave a link on the description. So today is one of those days where you gotta place your hard hat and get to work. Don't worry, here at the Stata Box team, we've got your back. The first thing that you wanna do is shut off the water, unless you like inside pool. If you do decide to build one, just give us a call. We like swimming too. The second thing you wanna do is confirm that you have the correct diverter. Cause the last thing you want is to have to go to the hardware store and make a change or get a different one but as well if you're not sure once you take off the one that you want to replace you could take it to the hardware store and they can guide you on how to get that one now we're ready to get wet let's go ahead and remove the cap on the knob that indicates hot or cold you can do that with your fingernails or a flathead screwdriver now that you freddy krueger that cap you're gonna see a screw inside the knob it could be flathead or philip in our case is Phillips. we want to go ahead and remove that remember lefty loosey righty tighty now that the screw is out, we can go ahead and just pull the knob out. Our next move, we're gonna remove the cover. And we do that by removing the screws on each side of the knob housing. In our case, they're flathead using the ancient rule of left to loose, right to tight. And don't worry, just keep going. You're gonna notice that these screws are long. Once you think you got them, you're only halfway. Now you can pat yourself on the back for having a hole on the wall. We have a foam gasket or a ring around the diverter. We go ahead and remove that. To make life easier, you can use a socket. They also have a special socket to remove this. But you know how we do here at the Sata Box team. We just grab what we have. So you get your wrench, your socket, your pliers, and we loosen. At the beginning, you might have to invoke inner powers that you didn't know you had. But after that, it should be smooth sailing. So if you look in the hole, you're gonna notice that there's only one way that the diverter could go, and that is laying flat. What we like to do is push the button in so we can get the flap in and keep the button pressed in until we get it threaded. After the first or second twist, you should be able to let go of the button. Always remember, righty tighty. And this is something that you wanna tighten until you feel no more resistance, but you don't wanna over tighten that you damage the thread. So once you feel that first stop, that should be enough. Now we're basically are going to reverse engineer everything back. We place the cover when placing the screws, lefty loosey, righty tighty. But always remember to call Watson to take a look at the installation. Meanwhile, you open the water again, just in case. But if you decide to go for the inside pool, I hear summer is coming up. And now comes the most important part of the whole install. And that is placing the cap back on the knob. Because the last thing you want is to get burned on your own tub for placing the cap backwards. If you're not sure, you can wait until you put the water back on and just verify to what side is cold and to what side is hot. Unless you want to give your loved one a surprise, they'll never forget. Now you can give yourself a pat on the back for a job well done. You are the master of the aqua universe. Don't forget, if you like the video, please give us a thumbs up. That really helps. If you have any questions, place them in the comment section below. Either someone in the Statterbox team or someone in the YouTube community can help you out with an answer. Don't forget to subscribe, follow us on social media. Thank you for watching, and here's a link to our latest video.